The Kimberley is an amazing area. It's a huge region of ranges, gorges and savannah hidden in the remote top end of Western Australia. The diversity of wildlife is mind-boggling. Hundreds of bird species fill the region's wetlands. It's an area nearly twice the size of Victoria, yet its population wouldn't fill half the seats at the MCG. Arguably, it's the most isolated and pristine landscape in Australia. But this enormous region is under threat from a small invader marching across the top end. I'm Dr. Sean Duty, Chief Scientist for the Australian Geographic Scientific Expedition. This place, unfortunately, is about to change forever. Cane toads have been wreaking havoc as they've marched across northern Australia. They're now on the doorstep of the East Kimberley, just here. And uh, we're here to try to collect as much data as possible before this area is completely overrun by cane toads. Cane toads were introduced into Queensland nearly 80 years ago. Since then, this toxic species has spread across Australia, in some areas wiping out up to 95% of the native predators. The Kimberley is next. Dr. Sean Doody is leading a team of eight scientists attempting to get a snapshot of wildlife in the eastern Kimberley. Nobody's done a comprehensive before and after study into the effects of the cane toad on native animals. The Australian Geographic Society has lent their support to this project and its success is due in no small way to society volunteers. They've travelled from all over the country to get their hands dirty on the research frontline. 